Welcome to today's Tech Byte. Today we're going to be looking at the right click options which are available to you from the plan view and the elevation view. If I just right click you'll see that I have six options here at the plan view and if we go to the elevation view we right click we have the same six options. Now all I've done is placed three walls and a few cabinets to get us started. I believe we're going to work from the elevation view today. The first right click I do is for an insert object. If you know the name of an object that you have in your catalog but you don't want to spend time going to the objects and then the catalog and then the category etc to look it up you can right click insert object and then simply type in the name of that catalog of that object rather. I happen to know there's an object named drawer stack so I type that in. I'm going to click OK and it's going to do two things for us. Number one, if it finds it in the catalog it's going to allow us to place that object anywhere we want to and if you'll notice at the left it's also going to find exactly where that object is located within the catalog. So that's a convenient way to look up cat objects that you don't use very often or those that you might not keep down in your favorites row at the bottom of the screen. The next option when you right click is to add a light. This simply adds a spotlight or a bulb light, tube light, under cabinet lighting, anything you want to use to decorate this room and it's simply going to allow you to place it anywhere you want to. You can adjust the brightness of it if you need to it shows up when you go into the 3D view. Uh, if you're showing in texture mode or the uh, photo vision, it does not show in fill mode, but it does show in the texture mode and in photo vision. And you can play around with this and get used to having those lights in there as you want to. The next option is going to be show or hide the walls. You're going to check the walls that you want to see in the 3D view. For example, this is wall 2 that I'm working with, so if I don't want to see wall 1 or wall 3 in the 3D view, I uncheck those and click OK. And then when we go to the 3D view, all we see is wall 2. The others are temporarily hidden. And to bring them back, we simply check them again. Or you have the option to show all of them or hide all of them. The next option is you're probably familiar with to send this page to the drawing view. This will send a scene out to the drawings page and we can place that scene and get it ready for our customers or the shop area or the architects or whomever needs to see this. We go back to elevation view we have the two live drawing. To live drawing is a little bit different because the scene that it sends to the drawings page, and let me create a, a new sheet, is still a live scene, meaning it can be changed without having to send it to drawings again. So if we go back to the elevation page and say, for example, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to stretch my drawer stack and I'm going to actually move my upper. Now, if we go to the first drawings page, you'll see that it's still the same but on this live drawing page you'll see that the changes were made because this is not a static version of this scene yet the scene is still live so that's the difference between a just the regular two drawing static version or the two drawing live version the last option that we have is properties this shows your grid spacing if you like to use the grid your grid can always be available if you want it to be. Let me uh, turn the grid on. Well, you can see in the background, well, I'm not sure you can see. It's very, very light, but the grid option is back there. And if you always want to snap to that grid, you would click this icon at the lower right box, and whatever you placed would always snap. Now, if you want to be able to snap to marks on the page, you would go to I'm sorry, go to Measure Tools, click the Snap Marks, 
and you would place marks at different points and you could snap objects to these marks you could snap walls to them and once you were finished with them if you go to properties you would click reset ruler and that would get rid of the marks for you and of course the other option uh, under properties is your layers which I'm sure you're familiar with if not we have a training video of that out on eSupport so that's a look at the right click options both in the elevation view and the plan view this completes today's training movie I would like to remind you of your training options the help files are available within each cabinet vision product the eSupport technical website is a great resource for questions and answers and features a technician monitored forum regional training classes are available so please contact your customer service representative for the classes in your area if you would like someone to come on site to your location and train your team this can be arranged online training is a very convenient method for training over the internet the e-learning training series is a series of topics which you can purchase online and download for immediate use. If you have questions about this or anything else, please go to our website, cabinetvision.com. We look forward to you joining us next time. Thank you for watching.